Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here. And I have a, a really exciting announcement. I just started a podcast. So far, there's just one episode up, but there is a link there where you can click, you can download and start gaining so much knowledge and information. I'm going to be loading this podcast with a ton of information for you guys. So um, I'm really excited. As new episodes come out, I will be releasing them. I will tell you about them more. But there is that first one up there, which I do dive into the history of nutrition. I talk more about women's hormones and everything. So um, so click that link. Give it a listen. Let me know your thoughts. I would love to know your thoughts on it. But one of the things that I talk about all the time, which women really don't get enough information on, is just how your bodies work and then how to eat for your cycle. So <clears throat> our bodies are different, you know, throughout the month because... Things shift and change for us throughout the month. It's very different than how guys' bodies work. So for those of you that have followed like a static eating plan, not that that's bad, right? You're not doing anything wrong, but you're just not taking full advantage of the differences of hormones week to week that shift throughout your body. So essentially, the first couple of weeks here, your body's higher in estrogen, and estrogen is really going to give you a ton more energy. It's going to speed up your metabolism. It's going to make you recover faster from workouts. It's really, really fantastic how different it is. Um, now, this is going to feel like it's going to be easier to start new things too. You're going to have better muscle memory, all these other things. Habits are more likely to stick. You ovulate here. Oh, so day one, day 14, day 28. Day one is the first day of your period. Day 28 is about when you ovulate and day 28 is when that ends. So for this first couple of weeks here, right, this is when estrogen is higher. Here, progesterone is higher, and I use two different colors and everything else because really everything flips in the body. Now, this is, again, just an example. You know, this isn't exactly how it may go, but for you, it may be a little bit different, you know, in terms of hormones. So one of the things to pay attention to month to month is how you're feeling on different days of your cycle, because it really can make a difference. If you're doing a workout here, you may feel like, I got this. I totally kicked butt. Yet you're doing a workout over here and you're like, oh my God, I'm dragging. Why is this so tough? Because progesterone, your energy is lower, um, it slows down your digestive system, it slows down your metabolism, all these other things shift and change completely when your body's higher in progesterone. So it's important that you're shifting your nutrition to match that so your body still functions easier, so that you're helping boost your digestive system, giving it everything it needs, because it's so different here at this point. Now, estrogen, fun thing about this is that it actually burns carbs naturally. So if you're looking to lean out, if you're looking to do different things, carb cycling during this phase is fantastic to throw in because it switches things up so much and your body's already burning carbs naturally. Here, progesterone, actually your basal body temperature is higher and this is a fantastic point then to help burn more fat because your body's already in more of a fat burning mode. I know, yes, things are a little bit slower. I know it just seems a little bit more when your body's higher in progesterone. It can be very different and very tough. Some women get insomnia. There's a bunch of different things that happen. So in my podcast for this, I'm actually going to be diving into this even more. Um, but understand that, yes, shifting things more towards eating for your cycle here will shift your energy. It'll help smooth things out. It's going to decrease any symptoms you have around your period, around PMS. It really is an amazing change that you can have when you're really working with the way your body ebbs and flows throughout the month. You're not fighting against it anymore. You're not feeling like you're getting nowhere, right? Now, again, if you've been eating healthy and eating clean, super duper, right? Like keep it up. That's fantastic. But to really layer in on top of that, eating for your hormones, you're going to all of a sudden get a completely new result with your energy, with your body, and the results that you want to get to. So if you feel like you've been stuck, if you feel like you're, oh, I can't do this anymore. I, I, I just don't understand why I'm not getting these other results or why is this so tough for me? Why does my energy wax and wane? Why is it so hard for me to sleep well, etc.? A lot of it can be tied to your hormones. So start tracking it, start figuring out where you're at, and start eating for your cycle. Now, again, I'm going to go over this in more detail in the podcast. So download it, share it with your friends, share it with women in your life that know about this or that need to know about this because this is my mission. I am just on fire 
with passion to really get this information out to women. I can't tell you how many times I hear from people that, oh my God, I had no idea. Oh my God, I oh, this makes so much sense why X, Y, and Z was happening for me. I'm like, yeah, I know. Now, I... Right, I was an athlete um, in high school and in college. I went through a ton of different dietary programs, work, worked with nutritionists, all these other things, right? Trainers, all of this stuff. Hi, Jamie. Um, I've worked with so many people personally on a different level for nutrition. And then going to graduate school, learning about nutrition, right? Deep dive into a lot of health things, right? And I can honestly tell you that there is so much that I did not know about even going through grad school, that this was stuff I had to study on my own. I had to experience the frustration myself. I had to go through uh, years of just horrible things before I really figured out, oh my God, this is a different way for women to eat. And then, then, then why is it, why are women not recommended this in the first place? Oh, because we're given the same recommendations that men are given. Mm, duh. <laughs> How is that helpful? It's not. It's not helpful. <laughs> Sorry. See, I get so excited about it. So this is, it really is my passion to give women the information they need to shift how they eat, to eat healthier, to achieve these new results, and just feel better in your body and understand more about how it works so that you can tap into the natural ebb and flow of it. Now, so I have my podcast out. Give it a listen. Let me know your thoughts on it and share it with women in your lives so that they can hear this message too. I would so, so greatly appreciate it. All right. That's what I got for you guys tonight. I will see you later.